In Mindscape 2021, we've also added new functionality. And this, this is leveraging your rapid CAD tools. It's leveraging the new mesh library we put in. So in this example, what I, what I want to do is I want to take a cut along this, this bench. So I, I've laid out a polygon. Pretty simple. It's pretty easy format to follow. It's all ribbon uh, driven. It's scenario based. I know I want to build it on a bench 480. So if I just wanted to lay out some cuts interactively, it's, it's easy to do. I just open up the form. I fill out the form. And then I can start laying in my cutter lines or how I want to lay out my cuts. So I have my bench laid out. So if I rotate this, you can see it has slopes to it. It actually defines the total volume for me already for this cut. So I'm just going to slice it. So I'm just going to leverage the rapid CAD tools. So I'll just start laying out a cutter line. And once I lay out the cutter line, you'll notice that I, I get a volume now for that first cut. And it also locate it also gives it names it. So I can continue laying these cutter lines out however I want to. Or you can go ahead and leverage the the other tools functionality within Mindscape. So now that I have have my cutter lines laid out and you just toggle the tooltip it gives you all your volumes of those blocks I can go ahead and in the cut I like that now I can go ahead and calculate the reserves calculating the reserves will uh, apply metadata and we've given this the users the ability to bring in their schema intervals or qualities and reserve them this case in this one is just burden so I'll go ahead and calculate the reserves for this. All these blocks have been updated. They all have metadata to it. So if I select one of these blocks, it tells me the area and the volume. And if I had any, any coal intervals, it would show up here. I can also generate a report. All your blocks, all your volumes, and uh, uh, the associated thickness. And then what you can do is take these, these cutter blocks, these little rapid reserver blocks, and actually merge them into the topography to get a progression topography if you wanted to. You can do it by complete scenario, all your mesh blocks, or you can pick and choose the blocks you want to go ahead and cut in or merge into your current topography.